Well, it was a new and improved and, uh, and uh, more dastardly uh, Dr. Robotnik. I think this time he's 3.0 uh, times a thousand. And he, um, you know, he comes back not only filled with vengeance uh, and uh, you know, gigantic chip on his shoulder, the size of the Grand Canyon, but, but he comes back having dabbled in the mushroom planet. I don't know what he got into over there, but something happened. Uh, he carved off all his hair because that, frankly, was the hair of a loser. Uh, he lost that battle, the initial battle. Um, so, and the mustache was just an outward manifestation of ego. And it really is commensurate with the size of his ego. And uh, so he, he comes back not as just a brilliant genius who wants to do evil things. He comes back in his own mind now as a demigod. I think the thing that excites me with Robotnik is the look uh, of the transformation, the way it keeps evolving, you know, the way the, the megalomaniacal energy keeps evolving, keeps growing. Uh, it's the nothingness, the creeping nothingness that is taking over his soul and eventually the whole world. So I, I, I can't wait till they see the transformation of the character when he gets the emerald energy and the, uh, you know, the play that he does, the kind of, uh, I can be here, but I can be over there too. And now that I'm quantum with my evil, I can, uh, I can speak like a Moog synthesizer and I can just, I can, he can play and have fun with his own evil and his own abilities. But, uh, but also the mech is really cool. You know, the, the robot that the manifestation of him as a gigantic robot uh, that he controls from within the brain suspended on Tesla-like energy and coils, um, you know, in midair and controlling this mechanism with his mind. It's really fun. It was in incredibly uncomfortable to do, but really fun at the same time. And I cannot wait to see what the digital geniuses do with all that. The Emerald Cave to me was a really fun uh, set, reminiscent of an Indiana Jones kind of thing. And we kind of do tribute to Indiana Jones in that, you know, uh, in a comedic way. Um, but uh, also the most uncomfortable I was in the film was hanging from those harnesses and doing that electric brain of the giant robot. Uh, <coughs> They had a way of kind of projecting these wild things behind me so I could really get a sense of how it was going to be in the actual film. And we would play incredible, like, raunchy um, death metal music and stuff like that while I was making my little motions and my, my, <laughs> my, my gun uh, pantomimes. And uh, Pantera was big was big in those those shots. We would, uh, you know, respect, walk, are you talking to me? You know, that kind of stuff. And uh, so I had a lot of fun on those. Knuckles is the muscle man, you know. Knuckles is the guy who's gonna do the enforcing. You know, uh, Robotnik, yeah, he's formidable. He's got a good brain, but he can't bust down walls like Knuckles can. And, uh, you know, Knuckles was his way off the mushroom planet. And not only that, but he'll use anybody he, he can use. You know, if, if you have a special talent for something that can be used for evil purposes, Robotnik is right there with you, your biggest fan. You know, but don't turn your back because he really doesn't need you all that much once the job is done. Since the first film came out, I think people have fallen in love with the idea of this being actually uh, brought to life. Uh, I think they saw right out of the gate that we were concerned about, you know, what they felt and how they felt about how the characters are depicted. And uh, I certainly want to do a good job with Robotnik so that they feel they got the experience of it coming to life. You know, I, 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 I love that. I love that. And, and gamers are really dedicated. Once they love something, they are 
the best kind of fans. I mean, they really are religious about it, and you better make them happy, you know? <laughs> so I hope they're happy with it. I think it's going to a cool place, and, uh, and uh, I think Sonic turned out to be a really a cool uh, collaboration between the, uh, the fans and the creators.